A raccoon, or Procyon loader, is of class Mammalia, order Carnivora, and family Procyonidae. Raccoons are 2 to 3 feet long, 10 to 30 pounds, and have a black mask over their eyes and a contrasting light and dark tail ring. Young are generally born in April or May. Litter size ranges from 3 to 6 young and 1 litter per year. Family groups usually remain together for the first year. Year olds begin to assert their independence the following year when the new litter arrives. They are omnivorous, which means they eat both plants and meat. Their plant foods include fruits, berries, nuts, acorns, and corn. Their animal foods include crayfish, clams, fish, frogs, snails, insects, turtles, rabbits, muskrats, and bird eggs. Raccoons are active all year, but they may take cover in dens during severe winter weather. They are nocturnal, and they prefer wooded areas near water. They den up in hollow trees, ground burrows, brush piles, or rock crevices. They adapt easily to urban and suburban environments. Attics, chimneys, and spaces beneath houses are also used as dens. Making their way into the urban jungle, they're mainly scavenging for food and trash, compost, and pet food. They are very persistent and will get your trash if it's not secure. Oh, well, hello, buddy. You like that cat shit? Mm hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Next, talking about damages, females in search of nesting sites may rip off shingles, fascia boards, or rooftop ventilators to get into the attic. Once in, insulation on walls may be torn up and displaced. Once in, insulation on walls may be torn up and displaced. Ectoparasites may infest the attic and migrate to other parts of the house. Severe rooftop and insulation damage can be thousands of dollars to repair. Next, on fence lines, we have latrines of fecal matter, which is not only disgusting, but can make you sick. Raccoons carry many diseases and internal parasites such as rabies, which can require a number of painful shots into the stomach. They also carry raccoon roundworm, or Balisascaris procyonis, an infection spread to people by accidental ingestion or an inhalation of roundworm eggs from raccoon feces. This can cause serious disabilities, and young children are the most susceptible because they are always playing in the dirt and putting their hands in their mouth or on their face. How do we clean up raccoon latrines? Avoid stirring up dust and debris, then lightly mist the area with water. Use a shovel or scoop to gently lift the feces or any other contaminated material and place it into a heavy-duty plastic garbage bag. Close the plastic bag light tightly and place it into another garbage bag and double bag it. Then discard into a garbage can. Disinfect hard and smooth surfaces including the shovel blades with boiling water. This stuff is so resistant to chemicals that you literally have to boil it to kill it. To protect yourself while cleaning up a raccoon latrine, wear disposable gloves, rubber, plastic or latex, disposable booties, and if working in a confined area such as an attic or a crawl space, wear an N95 rated particle mask, which can be found in home renovation or supply stores that carry them. Then after, thoroughly launder clothes with hot water and detergent after cleaning up. In California, raccoons are classified as fur bearers. Fur harvest season is set by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, which further determines when and how raccoons may be taken. In Central California, that is mid-November to March, and no limit on the number of take. Since they are nocturnal and only active at night, taking after dark includes using pistols and rifles not larger than 22 caliber rimfire and shotguns not larger than size BB. But if a raccoon is causing damage, it may be taken at any time of the year. Raccoons are commonly found in storm drains, but since that's city property, the city must become involved. And if you trap one, relocation is prohibited without the written consent of the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Some telltale signs if raccoons are around your home are by feeding, such as getting into garbage, its tracks, and its droppings. An easy way to tell raccoon tracks is that they both have five digits on the front and hind feet, and the hind foot can be up to four inches long. Now we're going to talk about some of the best ways to exclude raccoons. One of the best ways to do this is by modifying the habitat around your house. Reduce the available food and have no available pet food. 
have lockable or tight fitting trash can lids that are secure uh, and will stay on if they are tipped. Try and remove all wood piles or any other materials raccoons can den under. Reduce access to the roof so they can't get in and build a den. This includes capping the chimney with some galvanized wire mesh and these are all helpful tactics in excluding raccoons. Unfortunately, they are masters at locating weaknesses and structures of roofs, fences, and floorboards, and evil simple latches to keep them out are no match for raccoons. One of the best ways to combat this is by using some electric fencing because raccoons are highly sensitive to electricity. The way this is set up, it should be about 8 inches above the ground and 8 inches away from the area you're trying to protect. A high voltage, low amp fence charger, similar to those used for cattle fencing, is perfect for the job. These fences are effective for protection in crops as well as koi fish and goldfish ponds. One management method that is highly effective, but only for a short period of time, are frightening devices. These visual frightening devices can include lasers, balloons, strobe lights, or kites. Also, there are audible frightening devices, which can include distress calls, propane cannons, and sirens. These are very effective in the short term, but in the long term, raccoons will figure out a way to get around it. Another common method of raccoon management is the use of repellents. Though these repellents may seem like they're effective, it is only for a short amount of time because a raccoon will get used to it or eventually figure, figure it out that it's a repellent and keep getting into your trash or your house. As far as thinking that your dog is an effective way to keep raccoons out, let's just say that's not the best idea. One effective management technique is to shoot the raccoon. This will kill it, but it is not recommended. Since raccoons are nocturnal, the shooting will be done at night, and shooting at knife is, night is not only not safe, but it can be illegal in some areas, especially in the city limits where discharging a firearm night or day is illegal. As far as raccoon management goes, the best way to do it is to trap them. Next, we are going to have Bobby show you how to set up a raccoon trap. Right here, we got a nice raccoon trap. Uh, so on this side, you pull this little door open so the raccoon can go in and right here there's like a little trigger plate so we got some uh toast right here with some apricot jelly or jam whichever one you prefer uh on this side there's an another door and you open this up and you can put easy access put the toast with the apricot jelly or jam on this side and then so the idea is that the raccoon's gonna go in on the open side, go for the food, uh, and when he goes gets the food, he's gonna step on the trigger plate, and that's gonna close this door. So here's a little example. He's gonna walk walk in, step on the plate, and boom, we got him. And yeah, that's basically about it. And then you could open both both the uh, doors to let him out after you trap him, and relocate him. <laughs> Pretty good. As Bobby said, using a trap is best. These traps should be about 15 by 15 by 36 inches and can be purchased for as little as $30 from your local Walmart or farm supply. Certain baits like jelly are very effective for raccoons but may attract non-target species such as cats or dogs. To combat this, only place the trap out at night and close the trap in the morning. Once you have trapped your raccoon, now it is time to either relocate or to kill it. If you live in the city limits, it is not legal to shoot the raccoon. Two of the best legal ways to dispose of your raccoon is to either drown it or to suffocate it. If you would rather relocate the raccoon, it is best to call the city and they will send somebody out to relocate the raccoon legally since relocating it yourself is prohibited by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. If you do not feel confident in your abilities to manage a raccoon problem, or you just don't want to spend the time or the money to deal with it, it is best to hire a professional pest management company. They'll come out, they'll set the trap, they'll take care of the issue, and they will appropriately decide whether to euthanize the raccoon or to legally relocate it, and then it will be off your hands.